sad to say, you know, it was a great, great pump. Yeah, we uh, we managed to uh, to tie in some of your exercises, your training kind of methods, uh, mine as well, and and we have different styles, and yeah. and, and that shows in our physiques and our bodies. Cal here from Colossus Fitness. Today we came across Steve Cook and Rob Rich's tricep workout routine. So this is going to involve a lot of sets, a lot of supersets, a lot of reps, high volume. Let's crush it. Hey, what's going on guys? So for this workout we tried out Steve Cook and Rob Rich's tricep routine. So first we started off doing some skull crushers. Uh, we actually started off with a warm-up set which, which consisted of two sets of 15 to 20 reps um, and then you guys will see in a bit we move over into some close grip bench press which is two sets of 12 to 15 reps. Now so the, we started with two warm-up sets and then we worked into three working sets of 8 to 12 reps for each exercise. Um, so this was a crazy amount of volume right off the start and it felt nice to get in there and start crushing it. So. Uh, this was actually our first time using the Olympic barbell as opposed to a fixed bar um, and the reasoning is because the weight is spread out further and requires more balance when lowering and raising the bar which is going to work more of the stabilizer and secondary muscle groups. Um, an alternative for those of you who may feel pain or discomfort in your elbows, you may want to try an easy bar um, for this. Uh, this is actually my first time trying this like I said. I didn't feel any pain but then again I didn't go crazy heavy or lift a crazy amount of weight. Uh, another tip also you're going to want to go behind your head to keep the tension firmly on the triceps um, and that's going to allow for a fuller longer range of motion. Uh, at this point you guys should already be feeling it a crazy amount in your triceps. Great burner right off the start so um, for this close grip bench press this one's a burner and you're going to want to keep your elbows nice and tight to your body and start crushing it right from the start. Now on to some cable variations. So uh, we did two sets of 15 reps for each of the attachments. We used three attachments which comes to a total of six sets. Um, so for the first two you guys see here Josh is using a straight bar and the next he used one of those V-shaped bars and uh, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to work with heavier weights, focus on the actual thickness and size uh, and then you guys see me, I'm actually using the reverse grip. We've made a video on this, um, check it out right here, I'll put it on the screen. And this is going to work the medial head of the tricep more, which is a muscle that isn't particularly worked work too much with many other arm movements. So Rob likes to use cables because you can keep constant tension on the triceps, unlike a lot of the free weights such as tricep kickbacks. Um, and one of the tips Steve actually had was when he hits failure, he'll like to do partial reps. So he'll work the upper third of the movement and then the lower or third of the movement. So just a tip for you guys, um, you want to hit the arm at all different variety of angles. So like you guys see here, we're using different attachments, different grips, and as you guys saw in our tricep um, series where we gave you different exercises, we like to do that as well. Uh, a lot of people have different insertions, so they'll feel things differently. For example, supinated, pronated, V-bar, straight bar, easy bar, etc. So we highly suggest you guys trying out different grips and different angles to target the tricep while using a cable to really get that horseshoe look of your tricep. Next we're going to be moving on to the last superset of the tricep training which is going to consist of dumbbell extensions and the bench dip. So first off we start off doing the dumbbell extension one set of 15 reps. Now it's super important to maintain a full range of motion really stretching that long head of your tricep. What Steve said is he likes to at least do one movement that's always stretching the long head so he chooses this one at the very end. It's a crazy burner. 15 reps and you guys will be feeling it. You don't need to go crazy heavy, we probably use like 55 pounds, Steve used like 75, but just make sure you're getting proper form in. Now that your triceps are fried from those dumbbell extensions, we're gonna move over to the superset portion, which is the bench dip, 15 to 20 reps. Just a side note guys, having your feet up on a different platform or bench will make this exercise harder as you'll be performing a longer range of motion. Um, we're showing you guys like the beginner alternative, but I do suggest you guys putting your feet up on a different type of platform. Um, and this exercise is gonna work the lateral and the long head of the tricep, and it's also a movement that places less stress on the joints, and it's a great finisher for those triceps without having to move a copious amount of weight. All right, so two of 
the aesthetic homies, the founding fathers. We got Rob Richards and Steve Cook, two bras to look up to, and their tricep workout was legendary. You guys, you gotta try it. It's a burner, lots of supersets, lots of variation. Just how I like it. They're hitting all the different heads. It's killer, all in all, I loved it. If you guys liked it, I definitely check out Callum's bicep routine. That is also killer. Combining them makes the perfect arm workout. If you guys like this, be sure to subscribe for more celebrity fitness videos. I'm your boy Josh and your boy Kyle's behind the camera. We killed it today. We'll be making plenty more. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are feeling gutty, try out Callum's bicep workout that's also up on our YouTube channel and on the screen right here along with Steve Cook and Rob Rich's tricep workout and you guys will achieve huge arms in no time. See you in the next video, peace.